Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the Sam Livecast. Boys, everybody good? Yeah. Life is good. Max, good. Hey, while well, we got the shot back there, mm-hmm. should we talk about the problem you two are having? <laughs> uh, yes. I don't know if they can see it, though. Hey, Max, can you, uh, can you grab yes. the... Uh, yeah, give me one sec, okay? I'm going to hop on your... Describe the problem. So, uh, where they sit is a desk, and um, up until a week or so ago... All of the cables for everything that we do, the internet, the routers, a million cords that come and go between the computer and the, 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 the what's the audio console thing called? Then? The board. The mixer. The mixer. All that stuff was just on the ground at their feet, right? Oh, this is operator cam. That's kind of <laughs> cool. That's cool. I like this. Uh, so we changed the carpet and I had to get it off the ground uh, so the guys could get to it. Mm-hmm. And I thought, well, man, I got an idea. Instead of just unplugging everything what if i just lifted it all up a i'd get it off out of their way but b it would be out of the way forever i hated all those cables and everything down there no this is like a rat's nest so i built i built like a i just built like a little very simple shelf thing see oh look at the there you go go back a little bit and show the bottom where the stuff used to be give me one sec okay (laughs) i'm trying to pull up my Sorry, I'm trying to pull up my flashlight so that you can see it better. Oh, there you go. Still a rat's nest, right? Yeah, but, but off the ground. Better than where it was, which was down there, correct? Yeah. So much better. Yeah. Except there's a problem. Except every time... Show us. <laughs> pull the light on, on them. <laughs> every time we do it, it's like this. And Lynn claims <laughs> that he hit it so hard, it not only bruised, but it bled. Yes. I'm going to find... I'm going to find the scar. Oh, my. The scar. Look at it. Listen, I don't see anything. You see that? That's a little flea bite. Look at the red marks. I just, it, it's like I just got arthroscopic surgery on this thing, <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah. Well, you got a dog on your lap, too, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he all won't right. leave. So. We all good? The, you have to admit, it's better, though. No, no. It, it's better. And our setup here has been almost, like, what, three... Yes, three years old now, so it's so, it time for a slight time cleanup for a and... little bit of that. It's just I, I'm I've I've now sort of learned to slide in gradually, <laughs> but in the first couple of days, it's just like, you know, we're doing our thing back here, so it's like, all right, get in position, slide in, and we're both just slamming our knees. Right. Well, the, the problem is that Max does this all the time. I do not. <laughs> so like, whenever I am yeah. like enthusiastic, like, oh, I'm gonna hop on the console, I'm gonna go start switching because Max <laughs> outside, wham, boom, every time. <laughs> Sorry. So if you hear just a massive like, ow, that's that's one <laughs> of us Lynn back smashing here. his legs. <laughs> yeah. We spoke last week of the pet deli in Germany. Oh yeah. 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 Lynn, go to this website. Uh huh. K i t t e a s f dot com. And then let's look at it and we'll say the word. <clears throat> okay. Do you see it? Yes. Kitty. Kitty. <laughs> Cute, right? <laughs> so it's tea for kittens. <laughs> part for gourmet cats. tea house, part cat and human oasis. What? That they say will create a zen retreat where people and cats can hang out to the benefit of both. Oh, no. Through way. the vehicle of a tea house. Patrons will partake of all the enjoyment and therapy that cats provide, assuming you like cats while enjoying healthy blends of exotic teas that are ecologically sourced from around the world. It will be, I think it will be a place that you can, I think you can adopt. Hmm. I think it's... Come in for a cup of tea, go home with a cat. Is that what they're saying? Yeah, really, like I want to sit around a place with cats crawling (laughs) all over the joint. When's this stuff going to stop? Is it going to stop? Wait, does it say anything about prices? Uh, or you want to get a cat? No, I'm just I don't I'm a little confused about no. what they do. Two fifty for a cup of tea, <laughs> twenty five dollars for a cup of tea and a cat. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not really sure how this is. How I this don't know what model. it is. What's it's, gonna be going on with our, us and our pets ten years from now, twenty years from now, fifty years from now? It's just getting progressively more. Like when you were, if you, if. 40 years ago, yeah. if grandpa could have seen the way that we treat the dogs now, I feel like all grandpas back then would say, it's a dog, get it out of the house or That's get it off the couch. Matt Minotti. Yeah, there you go. Doesn't, doesn't like the idea of a dog being on the sofa or sleeping at the foot of a bed. So what is it about 
our society and our culture that's kind of developed into this crazy love relationship we love with our, our dogs yeah not just dogs everybody and their animals yeah cats too the cat people too snakes too. <laughs> i know, guess people, everything people like their people like their pets i yeah i don't know i we liked our pets then mm-hmm. our dogs didn't our dogs slept outside back then mm. and there's in vancouver too i don't remember them ever sleeping in the house ever mm-hmm. and that weather blows in the winter yeah I don't know why we did. Now I feel terrible. <laughs> no wonder the dogs are dead. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, it was many years ago. They would have been dead anyways. I'm making a joke. What are you now, 65 or something? I'm not 65. Are you, no, you just got Medicare. By the way. You just got your Medicare. No, I didn't AARP? get Medicare. I got my AARP <laughs> oh, card. Oh, yeah, that's it. You know you know who actually, who else got their AARP card? Who? Mm. We got a mail for Stacy Kwan. AARP. Really? What? My wife. Why? I don't what? know weird how old is stacy she's she just her birthday was yesterday yes she just turned 25 what that doesn't even make sense it doesn't i have no idea why she's got the card for a different stacy huang there's an old lady huang (laughs) out there well her her last name isn't huang anymore anyways that's true uh quick uh, quick question was there any debate about the last name thing oh yeah of course oh there was was she reluctant yeah I, i think most I think most, most girls are. women would be like kind of reluctant about giving up their family name they've had for a really, really of long course, time. Of course, yeah. Unless Becoming a new name. They like... didn't like their family at all. Then that's different, I guess. But yeah, I mean, there was like a little bit like, do I really have to change it? But And, and so what was your answer to that? I actually left it up to her. Oh, okay. Yeah. But did you say it's important to me? Yeah, I did. I, it's important to me. So did she just take it or did she hyphenate? Um, she kept her last name. Huang Chi. As, as the middle name? As part of her middle name. So now mm. her middle name was Mei, and now it's Mei and Huang is her middle name. Oh, that's middle cool. Name. So Mei, kept... Mei Huang? Yeah. Interesting. So, Stacy Mei Huang. Hmm. Yeah, so that's that's what it says in her license now. So she still keeps her full name. Just She just added my name on the end of it. Mm-hmm. So wait a second. So when you do that, does, does that mean that she had to legally change her name? Yeah. No, so... So but, when you get married, don't you just... Is Wait, there a name change form that, that, yeah, that accompanies it? Maybe didn't didn't Kelly go through this at some point in time? It was thirty years ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So and Canada, I had heard that a lot of married couples like that takes the longest time because it's a lot of forms. You have to take into account a lot of things. You have to change all of your accounts. But Stacy and all of her really organized friends had a checklist from recently married people who had made one for other younger couples down the line, mm-hmm. and she got hers done in like two I, weeks. I got it. It was oh, awesome. Mm-hmm. Interesting. She was fast. That's so one of the podcasts that I listened to, um, this girl, uh, sorry, Allison Rosen. Yeah. She's the news girl for Adam Kroll and she has her own show on the network and she's getting married. And so there's this discussion about what she's going to do because then her name, Allison Rosen is in the title of her show. It's called Allison Rosen is your new best friend. Mm. And her website is AllisonRosen.com, and all of her work is Allison Rosen. I think that's, I think that's fine. Oh, of course. Yes. I'd say she definitely has more of a reason to keep it. Hey, there's plenty of um, of celebrities mm-hmm. that don't use their real name. Mm-hmm. They use a... Oh, yeah. Like, I don't know. And I guess... But, I think a lot of them don't change. No, I agree. But I, th- this is a different situation where she's in mid Like, she's already developed her celebrity persona as Alison Rosen. Now she would have to change her name completely in the middle of it. I see. So she's leaving it then. I don't actually don't know what her decision is yet. So I'll I don't know. Out. Now that I'm now that I've been married thirty years, I guess I don't really. It's if, also if different I was doing today. It again, if it's Kelly wanted to keep the, her name, and yeah, I guess I don't care. I mean, I do like the idea that people have the same last name, though. I yeah, like yeah, no, that. it's great. I agree for sure. And they went up with the kids, like the hyphenated. When the mom takes the hyphenated friend. last name. I had a friend who just didn't even take the hyphenated last name. Like His Smith mom. Johnson, Lucy Smith Johnson. Yeah. What are the kids? Are the kids Johnsons or are they They're Smith the Johnsons? They're the dad's name. No, I They're thought the they just name. they take Smith Johnson. They just actually keep the hyphenated name. Oh, the kids? I, I don't know. Yeah, about yeah. That. I, I know some friends that have hyphenated last names because of their family. Mm. Well, I don't I, think I don't think it's a hard and fast rule though. Oh no 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 definitely not. But it it happens that way too. Hmm. You can take both uh-huh. if you want. Yeah, like my example is the mom and the dad kept their normal names, not even hyphenated for the mom. And then the kids all took the dad's name. So the mom was just the only one with a different name, which oh. was a little weird. It seems weird. Yeah. Ah, oh, what a big deal. Yeah. Big deal. Hey, so we did um, we did uh, the Denver. I'm, I'm tired. 
Are you? Y- you seem well, a little like you know, dopey. Less energetic. Today. I definitely. Well, I had. I was uh, the chef band's event was last night. Oh, um, how late did you stay up? Oh, we ended. Well, there was alcohol and whatever. Oh yeah, and, and what was home. I? <laughs> we were shooting Bad Bath today, and on our first couple takes, I was like, "Do you need to clear your throat?" Oh yeah. And he just said, "No, I think I was just." Drinking late last night. <laughs> late last night. <laughs> what a great event. Bands from restaurants around San Diego come together to raise money for Center for Community Solutions. It's a great, great uh, organization here that helps women and children in mm-hmm. abusive situations. The big event every year is a thing called Chef Showdown in the fall. But we did this. We do this Chef Bands thing. This is the fourth year for it. Uh, I MC it with a guy named Josh Kopelman from Dining Out San Diego magazine. And there was 12 bands last night, and the diversity of the music from, I won't say country, I'll say cowboy music. A guy named Rick Ailes, it's like an old school cowboy guy, mm-hmm. um, to a group called God Hammered. Great flyer, by the way. Yeah. Wait, uh, I'm confused. I thought this was this year's, but it says 2013. Yeah, you're looking at the old one. Mm. Oh, this was the old one. That is the old one, yeah. The new one's blue and green, I think. Oh, okay. Yes. I saw one on Facebook the other yeah. day, so yeah. It's on my Facebook, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so a group called God Hammered that's a heavy metal. When I say heavy metal, I mean like... Screamer? Oh. Heavy. Yeah, the guy's main thing is... Argh! I mean, I can't even do it. My throat hurts. And I just <laughs> look at him after I go, how do you even <laughs> talk the next day? He goes, I'm fine with that. A group called DPI, Drunken Punk and Idiots, that mm-hmm. are from Hodad's. Uh, that are punk and you know what i've never been a, I, I mean punk was popular when i was uh in my teens yeah maybe late teens and then i think it went away and then i guess it came back it came back in like the 90s yeah and i never was a huge fan then i like some of it but it wasn't quite as hard as these guys are these guys i could listen to all day long it's amazing Really? Amazing. And a Latin jazz group from Romesco restaurant that won actually last night. Wow. They took first place. The drunken DPI took second. And then there was a whole bunch of food. Hannes uh, from Carnita Snack Shack was there. Mm. Matt Gordon was there. Matt Gordon, who plays guitar really well in a group. They really good last night. Really good. Nice. Uh, Barley Mash was there. The chef from Barley Mash, guy named Kevin Templeton's. One of the one of the uh, band members of of God Hammered, it's amazing. It was a great night, and I was pissed because there wasn't as many people as I thought should have been there. Mm. Maybe three hundred or something. I, there should have been five six hundred people there. That's a good so amount. Thir- Thirty bucks, you get a ticket to the thing, all the music, and then you get to eat a whole bunch of food. Yeah, it's Hodads good deal. was there making little their little Guido sliders, little s- square burger with uh, with uh, pastrami on it. I think mm. it's good. I thought it was a great event. A lot of fun, great music. But Maybe that's it's why the I'm promotion. Tired. I mean, like, I, yeah. I didn't really hear about it till no. the week before. Really, not mm-hmm. even that. Like, maybe a few days before. Or you're not paying enough attention to my website, my friend. That's true. It's my uh, my that's Facebook. True. Anyway, uh, so it's it's a pre Super Bowl week. While well, New York is going to be crazy, just hearing of yeah. the things that are going to be going on there. That city by itself is busy enough. Now you add an extra. I don't know how many tens of thousands of people there. I was going to say, what a great city for the Super Bowl. Yeah, it should be a lot of so fun. cool. They're like closing off part of uh, Times Square to make. What are they calling it? I heard it's like Super Bowl Row or Super something. Super Bowl like that. Row, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Wow. Which should be a lot of fun. And you're not going to be able to move. You are not no, going to be able all. to move. Uh, but uh, so Monday show we did um, we did the uh, Denver omelet nachos. Yeah, we did less omelet, more nacho, and fried egg on top. And damn, were they good! So to do something in the uh, mode of the city of Seattle uh, for the Seahawks, uh, I'm going to do a little salmon skewers. Oh, that sounds yeah, good. Baby. with um, with the chili, the um, that sweet chili sauce. Do salmon skewer well? Do We're going to find out I've never made them. You never made them, all right. <laughs> How can it not? I, well, as a fish, I'm not man. using a barbecue. I'm going to use my grill pan. Nice. I think they'll be easy. They should be delicious. That little that little sweet chili sauce will be great. Oh, it's Some awesome. seeds at the end and a little green onion. I think they'll be delicious. Anyway, I'm ready to cook. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. If you guys are ready. To- oh, righty, man. Salmon. This Canadian boy he loves his salmon. I love my salmon. Look at a nice, beautiful piece. So, we're making this up as we go, but I think that we'll be fine together. 
All right. Skin off. Yeah, I'm going to take the skin off. Oh, yeah, I won't do it like this. So. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There's all kinds of ways to get the skin off. My way, I, I know there's people that do it like this. They start and then they hold and they pull. I don't know, that doesn't work for me. This works for me. Going this way. Huh. But also salmon's relatively easy because it's yeah. the skin's real fatty. And you get that and you get you get this. Right? Wait, there's a little bit of uh Maybe I learned that from you, but that's definitely how I would do it, too. Yeah. Well, you know what? When we were in, uh, we took a cooking class at a winery in South Africa, the whole group. And um, the female chef was teaching people to do it that way, that the, the, the way that I don't know how to do it, mm -hmm. the way that doesn't work for me. And um, I, I, it just looks complicated. I don't know how to do that. So let's make our cubes. Let's go like this. We'll sort of go this way. And then we'll try and make them about the same size. That salmon looks really good, man. It does. Fatty. Nice. Are there any pin bones? No. Well, there was just that one little one there. But I felt it earlier and they didn't get anything. So I'm going to do two on a skewer. I don't like it when you go to eat something off a skewer and the last bites are so far down, you're like choking yourself <laughs> yeah. trying to get the thing into your mouth. I don't like that. So let me start this and get like a little handful of skewers. Nice. So I think this is going to be fairly simple. I'm going to use these guys. I'm just going to do two on each. Yeah, man, I don't ever remember seeing a salmon skewer before. That's cool. Neither yeah. do I. But I was trying to think of what to do with salmon. And there's a salmon thing that I've been dying to do on the show, but it doesn't make sense. It's not, it's, not like it's not like a football watching food salmon. It's more like a, it's more like a dinner eating salmon thing, right? Mm -hmm. That is true, actually. So I'm going to do it next week, and it's really good. I made it at the Collaboration Kitchen. I won't even tell you. We'll just do it then. Okay. You never tell me anyways. Well, sometimes. Okay, so see, this is all working out. Looking good. So what's the sauce gonna be? Well, right now, I'm thinking maybe just the sweet chili sauce. Huh. I, mean, I might add just a tiny bit of soy to it. That's the stuff you buy and comes in the bottle, right? You're not so stuff you buy, no, I'm not making it. Yeah, so here's the, a couple odd shaped ones. No problem. Nice. Okay, there we go. Good? Oh, yeah. Do one more. Should you do one more? I know Max is like, you don't have to do 100 of them. Nobody needs to see this. They just need to see one being done. Sorry, Max. I didn't like that last little skinny one. I had to do this. <laughs> and it was sitting there looking at me. Okay. Right? So now let's do this. Let's get the sweet chili sauce which is right here, which is a fantastic thing, especially with the little Japanese mayo. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Japanese mayo. Hmm. Well, if there's green onions involved, too, you might as well put out all your favorites. <laughs> <laughs> might as well get all my favorites. So now, now here's the thing. I'm wondering if I should do it. Maybe I need to make the sauce after. Because this is sweet. And if I put a sweet sauce on this thing, it's going to maybe burn up a little bit more than I want it to. Mm. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make the sauce. So a little oil, a little salt, sorry, a little salt and pepper. We'll season these guys, right? I like it improv as we go. This is the way it happens. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. But I, I mean, how can this not work, right? All we're going to do right now is just cook a little salmon. I know how salmon cooks. I've cooked salmon before. I've not skewered it before, but I don't know why this couldn't work out. And we'll just flip these guys over. We'll just sort of get the second side done too, with a little salt and pepper. Good, 
Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice and seasoned. Okay. This guy almost ready. So now let's think about this sauce. What if we do this? What if we take a little of this? This is an experiment, so kind of too thick, right? Yeah. Let me just grab a little, a little housewife soy sauce. My favorite. There we go. And watch. And a little lime juice. What do we think? Dig it. I mean, it's going to be like a lovely glaze over the top. Look it is. Good. I think I'm going to like the idea of brushing them right when they come off. Yeah. Yes. Hell yeah. As opposed to... I'm with you. Shit. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Soy sauce, sweet chili, and lime juice. Nice. Fantastic. You could use that on so much. You could use this on so much, right? Okay, so that's ready. This is ready. Let's go over here. Let's grill these guys. I know it's going to be a little smoky. It's so loud. It's okay, man. It just adds to the atmosphere. We're in your kitchen. Now your grill on, on high. So I just moved high. it up. I want it to be. I want to get a nice, a nice little sear on these guys. They cook fast. The first one you put in is already like pretty much. Right. Like you can see the color changing, right? Yeah. yeah. And see, so now it's nice. I think I'm just going to go two sides. I think that's what's going to make these things even even better because they'll stay, they'll still stay a little rare in the middle. That's the best. Which would be great. I mean, it's the way that I like to cook salmon anyways. I just do the top and bottom. Some silly show I was watching the other day, they were cooking, it was salmon or tuna or something, and, and the, the woman like, cooked it all the way around. I'm like, no, 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 stop that. <laughs> Looking. Get a little platter. Watch what we can do here. We'll take some of this for dipping, extra if you want. That'll go there. Can you turn these guys? That's the color that I wanted. There you go. Ooh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Now, in fact, what? My little paintbrush. <laughs> Ready for this? My little paintbrush. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get that? <laughs> oh. But now we'll start to give this some. Excellent. Nice. And now it's starting to get that. You now you smell the soy coming up. Just getting in there. Back up for one second, Maxi. Green onions, sesame seeds. You know it's got to be here. It's got to be here. Just a little bit. Is that Smelling great out here. Yeah. Oh shit. Wait, I forgot about them. Oh yeah, that's it, right? Perfect. There you go. Now a little bit more. 
This side hasn't had it yet. That's an awesome color. Beautiful. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Damn, that's hot. <laughs> oh, those look gorgeous. Wow. They're there. How's that look? Holy like? shit. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Nobody, wait, don't stop there. If you make Sorry. this at the big game party. Holy These crap. things are freaking beautiful. Aren't they? Everything Asian. Why? Everything for me has got to be Asian. <laughs> I love that top shot, Lynn. I think that's your photo. Yeah. There's your shot right there. There's my shot. But I gotta eat one. How am I gonna do that now? Just get one, dude. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. It's too... I'll take this cat right here. Perfect. They're gorgeous, man. Not too hot. Oh my god. You want a bite? Yes. Can I give you this bite? Oh yeah. Can you eat all that bite? Without being a... Yep. Oh, the moment. Oh my god. How good is that? It's so good. It's so Holy good. Holy crap. Right? Four ingredients. Well, if you count the seeds and green onions, but... This little soy sauce, chili sauce thing, that's... And the lime juice, that's the key. That was so damn good. That's really great. Okay. From all of us here, and my little dog, Johnson, <laughs> little dog Louie, uh, goodbye. Thanks for hanging out with us. By the way, Friday, Chinese New Year begins, the 31st. Yes. Ooh. Guess what we're doing? Something really fun. Something really fun. Something very special. Mm. It'll be fun. You want to watch for sure on Friday. A lot of pageantry. <laughs> A lot of pageantry, <laughs> right? All right. Can't wait. Make those. Make those for the game. Make the sauce early. Get them all skewered up in the fridge. Just wait and take them out. Let them come to room temperature for half an hour. Then grill them. And if you don't have a grill pan, you use a flat thing. You'll be fine. It's not a big deal. But those are really delicious. Oh, yeah. Another great day in the live cast. Thanks for hanging out with us. See you. Bless you. See you. <laughs> Did you hear him?